Welcome to an overview demonstration of the Enterprise IQ Warehouse Management System from IQMS. Today, we will see how the Enterprise IQ system can help you minimize handling costs and optimize your warehouse efficiency. We will take a look at how you can increase order fulfillment speed and eliminate errors, improve inventory visibility and traceability out on the shop floor and in your warehouse by utilizing barcodes and handheld scanners for ease of use, transactions from inventory movements to physical inventory and cycle counts. Let's start with a key component to using the IQMS WMS system, barcoded labels. Here is an example of a barcode label generated out of Enterprise IQ using Crystal Report Writer. IQMS has several ways you can generate barcodes in the system using both commercial and proprietary label software. The whole concept behind using a barcoded label to move product is to make this transaction easier, quicker, and error-proof. Every label has a serial number like this one and a label, which is like a license plate for a car. The serial number identifies the items in the box, the quantity, the lot if required, and the current location of the box. Using a serial number to perform an inventory transaction makes it effortless and helps eliminate errors. Let's take a look now at some of the commonly used transactions in IQMS's warehouse management system. The screen we're all looking at here is the warehouse management system GUI interface for the handheld scanner. There are many different inventory transactions that can be executed using the WMS. The first icon here is the search icon. It is used for looking up items by name, also known as, or AKA, and UPC. Along with searching inventory locations to see what items are in that location, you can also query a label to look at the label details and also modify the details of that label. The move transaction gives you a variety of ways to move items using serial number, item number, and UPC. You can also do a batch transfer and move multiple items to one location. Direct Move Work Order ensures the user is moving the correct materials, components, and packaging to the accurate location for that work order number. The Receiving icon allows you to receive any items using the vendor label, even without a PO number. You can also receive end items for a customer RMA here, or receive product from another one of your clients using the ICT or Intercompany Transaction Receiving Module. When shipping with the Warehouse Management System, Enterprise IQ uses pick tickets to determine what items are to be selected for shipment. Users scan the boxes to the pick ticket, and they'll receive an error if the wrong item or wrong quantity is scanned to the pick ticket. Packing slips and bills of lading can be easily generated at this point from the handheld scanner. The next icon is Disposition. This enables the user to scan the completed, work-in-progress, and finished good items into inventory. It also allows you to enter rejects with a reason code. You can set up the system to auto backflush materials, components, and packaging during the floor disposition as well. The transaction icon allows for adjustments in or out of inventory to be done with the handheld scanner. Inventory counts, such as yearly physical inventories or cycle counts, can be easily executed using barcode labels and handheld scanners with the physical inventory icon. Cycle counts can be based on cycle count code, production need, or location. You also have the capability of printing labels from the warehouse management system, such as production, raw material, and pallet labels. The real-time icon allows you to search the current status of a work center using the real-time information from the machines on the shop floor. From the work center screen, users can set up the next job in the scheduling queue, change the finished good lot number for the current job, code the downtime segment, or change the actual cavities on the bomb. The Consume Inventory screen allows users to scan a box which would consume the vendor-managed inventory in that location. The VMI module supports the ability to manage inventory stored at another location, such as the customer's site or a local warehouse. Enterprise IQ includes the ability to ship the product to the customer, manage the shipment and quantity at another location within the inventory item master file, and support the invoicing of the product when it is actually consumed by the customer or at the time of packing slip. Using the Consume VMI in WMS, the user scans the serial number to show the item has been consumed at the customer's site or warehouse. This consumption will now allow the item to be invoiced to the customer. The Fixed Asset Inventory button will allow for location tracking of fixed assets via scanner. 
As fixed assets are moved throughout the building, users can scan the asset to the new location to show where they have been moved to, allowing for easier tracking. Lastly, the More button takes users to an additional screen, where they can update the location of equipment and tools and mark them out of service under Equip Tool Locations, customize the way WMS functions for each user under User Profile, change ePlants using Enterprise Plant, and allow a user to change teams or zones for the advanced WMS functions. This concludes our overview demonstration of the IQMS WMS system. If you're interested in seeing our advanced WMS, which includes transactions like wave planning, role-based picking and put-away, and dock management, please contact sales at IQMS. Enterprise IQ provides a complete warehouse management system for effectively and efficiently managing your warehouse and production inventory transactions. This system is designed to help manufacturers optimize warehouse efficiency and minimize overall handling costs. Thank you for taking the time to watch this overview of IQMS Warehouse Management System. If you would like more information on the products and services from IQMS, please visit IQMS.com.